Hi, this is Jake from Unforgotten Fighters, also known as Tank Alpha and Brave Little Toaster. I apologize, I'm wearing my mic over my head with my headset because if I put it around my neck, there's a lot of mic pops and stuff, and that's really frustrating. Um, and I can't get my other headset to work, so I apologize for the weirdness of this, but got to be done for a quality video. We're trying a new segment at Unforgotten Fighters. Um, it's kind of like a vlog thing, I guess. Richie already had a video that he released regarding um, his top five video games of 2013. So, I'm going to do my top five games of 2013. I think it's really cool that we're doing this. I'm really excited about it. Hopefully get some positive feedback. Um, so, without further ado, my top five games of 2013. Uh, number five, um, number five would have to be Tomb Raider. Storyline was amazing. Um... They really did an awesome job. Um, I remember playing Tomb Raider back when it was on PlayStation um, and the PlayStation 2. They really uh, did this game a lot of justice by um, with the, the single player storyline and stuff. Uh, they really revamped it very well. They could have made it flop, but they did an awesome job. Uh, it was very fun. I had a lot of fun playing it. Uh, the Weapons were pretty cool, uh, like the there's a bow and stuff that you could use for it. It was pretty cool. It was awesome. It was a lot of fun to play. And number four would have to be um, Game Developer Tycoon. Uh, I felt like I had to include an indie game in my top five, just for all fairness sake. But it was really fun. It's made by uh, Greenheart Games, I believe. Uh, they created a game that was fun, simple, but still challenging. I had a lot of fun playing it. Um, I still play it. It's a lot of fun, and it's a huge plus in my book. Uh, this is their first game ever made. In the first, like, parts of the game, this message pops up on the screen thanking everybody for who purchased the game, um, which is awesome. That's a really nice thing to do. They're like, hey, this is our first game. We thank you so much for purchasing our game. That's a huge plus in my book. That's a pretty sweet thing to do. Um, because then it lets the fans know that you appreciate them. So that's that's awesome. Number three would have to be Payday 2. Um, if you've got three friends and you've got Payday 2, play it with your friends. It is so much fun. Uh, you rob banks with your friends. Like, how much cooler does that get? I remember Payday playing Payday 1 a lot, the first one, Payday the Heist. Uh, it was fun, but it got a little repetitive at times, um, but we still played it a whole bunch. With the second one, they really outdid themselves. There's a lot of cool things that they added to it. You can now like customize your character, masks, uh, mods for your weapons. There's tons and tons of new heists to do, um, and they're releasing all kinds of DLC and stuff for it. Uh, so that's a very fun game. I recommend you pick it up, even if it's just you, know, you and one friend, you and two, three. Um, three friends, it's always best with three friends because then you can just screw around with each other. Um, but it's pretty sweet. Um, it's a lot of fun. It's very, very, very fun. Um, and you can make it very challenging. Um, they have the overkill levels, which are like the hardest ones. And they have like pro jobs where you have to complete it the first time or else it goes away. You don't get the money for it. So it's a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see some of the new things that they do with it because they're... Um, one thing that they, they promised they would do um, is customize, customizable safe houses, um, which would be very cool to see. Um, so I'm excited for that stuff. And number two is going to be GTA V. Uh, GTA V was a lot of fun. The single player was awesome. I had a lot of fun playing it. The characters were really sweet. Um, there were some very, very funny moments. There were some very exciting moments. There were very, so, some very... Um, like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen next moments? Uh, it was a lot of fun. I enjoyed playing the single player. Um, one negative thing about the single player was once you complete the game, there's really not much to do. There is some stuff you can do, and if you're the achievement whore, then obviously you can get all the achievements. But there's really not much to do. There's not much after that. Um, but GTA Online is fantastic. It is a lot of fun. It's Grand Theft Auto, but with other people. So it's a lot of fun. They have all kinds of mini games and stuff. So that's awesome. The one thing that I don't like about GTA Online um, is they they are going to release heists. And the thing is, is they haven't released them yet. That's the one thing that I've wanted to play so bad with GTA 5 Online uh, is the ability to do heists with your friends like you do in the single player game. 
Um, I understand that they have a lot on their plate, and there's a lot of um, bugs they're tweaking with uh, GTA Online, but like that's like the number one reason I got the game was to be able to do Grand Theft Auto Online and be able to do heist with my friends. Um, there's still tons and tons and tons and tons and tons of fun stuff to do with your friends, um, but it kind of got a little old after a while. Um, so being able to do heist with your friends would just be that much cooler. Um, I know I have um, a couple friends that I play with on Xbox, and playing with them would be doing heist and stuff would be hilarious. Um, so you know that would be the that would be the most most fun, and that's kind of why it's number two and not number one. Um, don't get me wrong, amazing game, amazingly well done. Rockstar did a great job with it. Um, just not quite there yet, and so it's kind of frustrating, but kind of like I understand. So GTA 5 is my number two. My number one would have to be Bioshock Infinite, by far the best game of 2013 in my book. Um, the single player was fantastic. Uh, the The storyline was so good, it was so well thought out, and it blew my mind. Uh, it really was just a mind blowing storyline. It just was so it was so good. Um, I remember after I beat the game, I was just staring at my computer screen, jaw dropped, and I was just like, oh my god. It was such a sweet game. Uh, really had the most influential, um, I guess, reaction. Um, the biggest reaction uh, out of any game I've ever played, I would honestly say. Uh, this storyline was fantastic. And those guys um, that made this game, the writers, kudos. It's fantastic really just so good um so best game 2013 by far bioshock infinite in my book i do have an honorable mention uh walking dead season one and two uh walking dead season one was released in 2012 late 2012 um i didn't purchase it in 2012 because i was kind of skeptical of the fact that it was released in chapters um, I thought it was a little strange and a little weird to do. I purchased it in 2013 and played it in 2013, and it was awesome. Season 2 just got released recently. Um, I played the first chapter of it already. I actually pre-ordered the game. Like, that's how awesome this game series is so far. I pre-purchased it, and I've already beaten the first chapter. Um, but Walking Dead Season 1 and 2 is just amazing it's a really great um, storyline there's a lot of great characters there's a lot of like what should I do because um, it's it's basically a movie and you make choices and you have conversations with people and what you say to people might change the influence of the game so it's really really it's really cool and it's really interesting so that's my honorable mention uh, because it technically wasn't released in 2013 but I played it in 2013 and season two was released in 2013, but it's only got one chapter on it, so that's it's kind of like I'm jamming it all together. And because I played it in 2013, that's why it's my honorable mention um, for top five games of 2013. So just a great game, really great game. The storyline and writing for it is is fantastic. Feel free to please subscribe to our channel. Um, I know we're still starting up here. Um, we're trying to get a more regular schedule for releasing videos, um, but when you guys watch our videos, that is awesome. That means a lot to us because um, we do put some, a good amount of time into um, recording videos and um, editing videos and all that stuff. So when you guys subscribe and like our videos and stuff, that, that really is has a positive effect on us. It makes us feel good. It makes us feel really good, actually. Feel free to comment on any of these videos. Tell us what you think. You know, just feel like, you know, positive um Feedback, constructive criticism, whatever you got, throw it at us. Um, we're trying to learn, you know, what you guys like. Um, if you guys have recommendations for games you'd like to see us play, totally open to hearing those. Uh, we are college students on a little bit of a budget, so we might not be able to do like every game you throw at us, but at least to give us, you know, some ideas of things you guys want to see. Um, feel free to even throw out your top five of 2013. I'd be interested to see it. I'm sure the other guys would. So feel free to, you know, subscribe, like the videos, comment. You know, it it would help us out a lot. Um, and we appreciate you guys that watch our videos. So that's it. That's the end of the video. You guys are awesome. We love you. Happy New Year.